Hello. So, uh, can someone else just keep an eye on chat and poke me if anyone yeah, I've been asks me something? Me. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Okay. I'm logged in as a, a CSC, I think, also. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> yes, echo! <laughs> yes, echo! <laughs> yes, echo! <laughs> yes, echo! <laughs> so, uh, echo! It's my first time live streaming anything ever. 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 So, I want to show everybody anything ever. Okay, how about now? Better. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the chat board. Holy crap. Okay, so we're good. Alright, yes. As I said, my first time ever live streaming anything. So, yes, you get, guys get to suffer. So, what I wanted to show everybody was where we, you know, some things we've done engine-wise in the last couple days. Um, one of the biggest things that everyone had to say about our first engine demo was, yeah, 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 what's, what's going to happen when there's all these particles and effects? Well, you know, I couldn't say anything, I couldn't show anything, because we didn't have, <laughs> so um, I couldn't say anything because, well, you know, we didn't have any effects. So, you know, over the last three days, we put in the basics of our effects system, and here you go. So um, it's the same, you know, 500 characters fighting each other, and, you know, every single sword has flames on it, and... You know, for the Viking, every time she attacks, uh, you know, every time she jabs with her pole arm, she, uh, you know, has little lightning going off. So, yeah, it's a lot of effects. It's a lot of, you know, all of the effects are going, and we're still running close, well, right, over 200 frames per second, um, you know, occasionally dipping down on... This computer right here is, uh, I believe it's a 2011 iMac. It's got a, a Core 20, Core i7 2600 in it and a 6970 mobile GPU. So, yeah, so it's running pretty well. Um, has, need more flaming ducks. So one of the things that you know we're doing with this is kind of to hit that hit our frame rates and all. This is actually it actually takes all the particle systems in the world and kind of folds them into one single Uber system that's updated dynamically across all your cores and the GPU. So you know we we're able to handle things like sorting in a really unified way and you know in general just make it run well um, and you know because we are all about making things run fast with a whole bunch of characters um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit slow things down just so you can get a better look at it um, a lot of the particles were made you know, all of the particle effects in this were set up by Mike Crossmeyer today um, using mostly some of the sprites and things from March on Oz, of all things. So, you know, if you're looking at the flames and thinking they look a little cartoony, that's, you know, that's where they came from, and this isn't really the look we're going to go for for the final game. 
Um, so, but at the same time, uh, oh. you know, there's a lot of particles, there's a lot of effects, and it does what we need it to do. So, um, you know, any uh, questions anyone want to know about uh, engine stuff? Um, so, how much does networking latency and lag play into the frame rate? Um, here, I'll add in, real quick, I will add in another another thing in here and you can see we've got we've got CPU to burn um, you know the biggest question about networking is you know what kind of lag and latency what you know, so the get your client is still gonna run really smooth no problem there you know, latency has a lot more to do with your bandwidth, but that's our next demo after this. You know, it's we've only been at this a few weeks, and we haven't gotten everything in place. Um, let's see, going down uh, questions. Uh, does the engine run on ducks? Yes, yes, it does. Absolutely. Um, uh, we've actually invented a new programming language called Duck Plus Plus for this. Um, well. <laughs> Let's see. Will Camelot and Chain utilize hyperthreading? Uh, yeah, you can see we're, you know, we've got most of the cores doing something, and you know, when we have more work, it will be spread out um, across all of the threads, whether they're hyperthreads or normal threads or real physical cores. So, um, let's see. Yeah. Um, it will run flawlessly on your Voodoo graphics card. Um, and by flawlessly, I mean there will be absolutely no flaws because it will not be uh, running. So I guess that's a different kind of running flawlessly, but there will be no flaws. Um, let's see. Uh, thinking of Mac or PC or just PC, right now our main focus is to... Right now our main focus is to get a, you know, a really great game out on the PC. Uh, so, you know, we're using DX11, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll answer the question of why are we going with D DirectX 11. Um, right now, in their current forms, DirectX 11 lets you get a little closer to the hardware, and it also lets you spread your rendering across all the cores of the CPU, uh, which is an issue with OpenGL in its current API form. So, you know, if you want to max out your all of your CPU cores to handle your rendering, DirectX is pretty much your only choice on desktop hardware. So, um, it lets us make the fastest and best game for, you know, rendering a whole bunch of stuff, and that is our priority. Now, absolutely, Mac is a potential stretch goal for us. You know, I would not rule that out, but... We felt like for the you know core PC audience, we had the best chance to get the best possible game out by going with DirectX, which meant going with Windows. Um, let's see. Recommended specs. We are definitely. Yeah, you know, we are definitely going to be announcing that later. Um, you know, we, we need to get all of our final art and, you know, more, more lighting to do, but, you know, the point is, you know, gameplay is going to come first. You know, we are, we aren't going to add you know, fancy environmental features that will compromise just the core, getting a lot of guys running around at once. And, you know, there, there are tweakable knobs in the engine to turn things down, you know turn off particles beyond a certain distance and things like that. So we'll do everything we can to get you, you know, as low as possible. Because, you know, a low min spec is kind of the flip side of, um, you know, a high frame rate. You know, if your frame rate runs at 400 FPS on a high-end system, then, you know, you'll probably run on a low-end system pretty well. Um, 
so let's see. Uh, 32 or 64 bit, uh, we haven't made any commitments. Um, you know, we're gonna, if we can, if we can fit everything in 32 bits, which I am fairly certain we will, and if, you know, it'll come down to which runs faster and we'll benchmark it both. Um, you know, we're definitely writing in a generic way that doesn't limit ourselves on that. Um, let's see, Are there zone loading. Um, I'm not gonna rule it out. So, we will, uh, you know, I, I can't promise an absolute 100% seamless world, you know. Even World of Warcraft has sort of zone loads when you get